Hey, welcome to Isabel Explains. In one of my previous videos, I explained the difference between a debit card and a credit card and how a debit card is connected to your bank account. But what I didn't mention is that your bank account can either be a checking account or a savings account. And in this video, I'll explain the difference. Let's go. A checking account is the account where you hold the money that you use on a regular basis. From there, you usually buy groceries, pay rent, make loan and credit card payments, pay your bills, and of course, pay for the movie theater and buy video games and all the good stuff. However, a savings account is an account that you normally put money in that you don't want to touch, except for that specific goal you set when you watch my video on saving money efficiently. Now, how are they different? Well, here's a list of the main things most banks have in common. Number one. The money that comes out of your debit card or check is from your checking account. When you use your card at an establishment or buy something online, the money you're using is from your checking account. However, some banks have the feature of protecting checking account from overdraft by pulling money from the savings account. That way, you don't have to pay for overdraft fees. Now, if you're withdrawing money from an ATM, you can usually do it from either the checking or the savings account using your debit card. Number two, savings accounts have a limited number of withdrawals. Most banks limit the amount of times you can take money out of your savings account per month. And more often than not, you cannot use your savings account number to pay for like bills or make a loan or credit card payments. Number three, savings accounts usually have a better interest rate. Because banks expect you to keep your money longer on your savings account, they usually reward you with a higher interest rate than your checking account. Sometimes a checking account doesn't even pay interest at all. So these are the three biggest differences between a checking and a savings account. But if you can't think of any other differences, please make sure to leave them in the comments. Now, if you would like to know what to look out for when opening a checking or a savings account, make sure to check out the next video. Please remember that none of my videos are intended as financial advice and your financial choices are solely your own. Everything in my videos is intended for educational purposes only. And you should always, always, always consult with a professional before making any important financial decisions. Let's keep growing. See you on the next one.